So, just to, uh, you know, be honest with you, I don't really exactly know why the following event that I'm about to cover even occurred. Um, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. Um, but I have this video here, a video graphic experience. It's got, uh, theoretically at least 24 frames per second, and it's got multiple seconds. It's got, you know, at least 140 seconds. Um, so we got a lot of frames here of some cringe. This is cringe. There was a hearing in Tennessee, uh, which is a Republican-run state, about whether or not they want to ban gender-affirming care, right? And for whatever reason, no one knows why, maybe someone knows why, Matt Walsh was there, self-described theocratic fascist. Those are his words, not mine. I would call him much worse language, but those are his words, self-described, theocratic fascist, was, again, I don't know why he was here, um, I'm not sure, uh, but, you know, this is a video compilation that I saw with the Tennessee Democrats asking him very tough questions, and, uh, it's actually kind of funny, so let's watch, but you know what's not funny is that None of this matters. The Republicans are going to pass the bill anyway, and people are going to get hurt. That's the not funny part. So let's go. Can you give us a summary of your educational background or your health care education? I didn't go to college, but I did go to school long enough to learn how to read so I can read the data for myself. And that's exactly what I've done. And for what purpose do you conduct your research and use this brain of yours? I use it for the purpose of trying to protect children from being castrated and mutilated. You don't use it to get... So just real quick, once again castrated and mutilated again i have to circumcision circumcision is common practice about 70 percent of people in this country that were born with dicks have been circumcised what is circumcision they literally rip the most sensitive parts of your dick off when you're like three weeks old sometimes sooner sometimes a little later but it's usually around two or three weeks they just rip your dick off the most sensitive regions of your sexual organ, they rip it off without your consent. That's called circumcision. Anyone who's been circumcised, they don't know what sex feels like. They just don't. Now, they can have a close approximation, right? Um, they can, they can feel like they might know what sex feels like, but it is a fact that if you do not have a foreskin, you do not know what sex feels like. That's a fact. Okay. Now, again, it might feel good to engage in sexual activity, but you're not actually feeling what sex has to offer. Um, and so I think it's interesting that these people love to talk about mutilation and castration in situations where there is no mutilation and castration, right? Taking puberty blockers is a completely reversible thing. Uh, puberty blockers are given to thousands and thousands of cisgender people, far more cisgender people get puberty blockers for very uh, large ranges of conditions such as early onset puberty um, and so on and so forth, right? So more people that are cisgender get puberty blockers than transgender. Are they going to ban it for cisgender people? No. And again, puberty blockers completely reversible, right? So again, these people are crazy. I need you to understand this. But Republicans are going to jam this through anyway, right? The, de the Democrats here are the minority. So they're asking good questions. They're making Matt Walsh look stupid in front of, uh, you know, the cameras. But that's not going to amount to much because ultimately Matt Walsh and his cult own the state. And, uh, but anyway, let's keep going. Clicks. Well, are you using it right now to try to get, for the purpose of trying to protect children from being castrated and mutilated? You don't use it to get clicks. Well, are you using it right now to try to get clicks with this interaction? You know, if you're going to come before a committee and make mischaracterizations and misrepresentations, it's fair game for us to ask you your educational background. You seem to have started this, so you have no medical background, correct? Uh, no. You're trying to address good public policy, correct? Yes. I just have to question, you know, some of your public policy. Singapore is able to have nice things in part because they execute drug dealers by hanging and arrest even petty vandals and thieves and beat them with a cane until they bleed. We don't have nice things here. Because I just got to say this. Why would you like the creative writing here? Beat them with a cane until they bleed like this guy. This guy is a freak. 
And again, Matt Walsh, this is what these people represent. They're freaks. They don't mind, like, this whining about, oh, the, the castration of children, the sterilization. Again, um, new research has come out that has suggested that hormones don't even sterilize you. When I started hormones, I was told I would be sterilized. Okay, whatever, who cares? But now there's new research that comes out that says that's not even true. So isn't that interesting? So what little arguments that they did have which again, informed consent overrides all of those. But what little arguments that they did have are being debunked in real time. So, but again, also this creative writing here, beat them with a cane until they bleed. That's fine. Beating someone with a cane until they bleed. That's cool. Someone going to the doctor, a little too much. We aren't willing to do what is required to maintain them. I kind of have to question your public policy beliefs. And you also stated there'd been no studies. Well, I'm sitting here holding a study from the American Academy of Pediatrics, suicidal disparities between transgender and cisgender adults and children. Before you state things, you may need to know all the facts. On your blog, at about 16, you're an adult who's mature and can make decisions. You're that at 16. I don't care what anybody says, even going so... So, Tennessee Democrats, again, Matt Walsh is a pedophile as well. He has gone on his podcast saying that it should be okay to rape 16-year-olds because they're mature enough to have kids. So, again, if anyone out there wants to go to bat for a pedophile, theocratic fascist, feel free. Um, but I don't know, man. It's a little strange. But either way, I gotta say, these are Democrats... That, again, it's an easy thing to do. Like, the bill's going to pass no matter what. None, nothing that they say is going to change the outcome. But, again, they're using their platform and they're using this moment to just berate Matt Walsh for reasons that are extremely accurate. Why is this guy advocating to rape 16-year-olds on his podcast? And why did Republicans invite him to speak at this committee hearing? Very interesting. As far as to say, when you're 16, you should be married and pregnant. 16 is an adult in your view. Why does this bill have minor defined as 18? I was a, a radio host 13, 14 years ago in my early 20s. It's also not an accurate reflection of what I actually said. I was talking about the fact that people tended to marry young historically, and that's all that that was about. How does that relate to, the, to this? To all of a sudden act like this phenomenon. So again, he's going to say he never said that 16-year-olds should be raped and impregnated and married off. He ne never said that, bro. But again, this video is edited to show us the video. I'm a non of girls getting pregnant at, that, at, a, at a young age that we consider young, 16 or 17. Baby to, act, to act like it's a new thing is ridiculous. It's always been that way. Girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Recently, in the last 30 years or so, we decided that's way too young to start a family. So what I'm saying is that the problem is not per se teenage pregnancy, it's unwed pregnancy. That's the problem in society. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a great video. Um, Matt Walsh is a fucking moron, obviously. Anyone that would fall for this shit, they don't have two brain cells to rub together. Um, once again, all of the quote-unquote studies and the quote-unquote science that Matt Walsh presents are factually incorrect, easily debunked. And um, and all the actual studies and actual science, they just pretend don't exist. And then again, these are the guys that are going around calling transgender people that are like minding their own business, not even doing anything, right? All transgender people are pedophiles and groomers, according to Matt Walsh. Yet Matt Walsh also believes that 16 year olds should become impregnated and married off. So the guy, the thing, and how does a 16 year old get married by the way? Like they would have to be groomed, right? Like how do you get married at 16 in any sort of natural fashion? You would have to be groomed to get married at 16, right? You don't have enough time to develop a regular relationship. You would, it would have to be a grooming situation. So again, Whenever you hear these motherfuckers talk about this shit, you have to understand everything they say is not only a lie, but also projection. When they call gay people groomers, and then you find out that this guy wants to fuck and rape 16-year-olds and impregnate them, that's fucked up. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. These people are fucked up freaks. It's, but again, 
none of that matters. This bill is still going to pass because Tennessee is a hell state and this country is garbage. So when we have pedophiles drafting legislation, um, it's not a good sign for anything. Let's just put it that way.